Yochanan Hertzberg was a noted Menahel and Mechanech for many years. He was one time driving with his Rebbe, Rabbi Shleim of Reifeld's Levracha, in the Catskills. They got to the town of Woodridge, and Rabbi Shleim of Reifeld turns to Rabbi Hanani and he says, would it be okay if you can walk into this bakery and get me a pastry and a coffee? I'm a little bit hungry and a little bit thirsty. Of course, Rebbe stops the car, he parks, walks into the bakery, gets the coffee, he gets the Danish, he comes back and he gives it to his Rebbe, and he notices that Rabbi Shleim of Reifeld is sad, something is wrong. Rebbe, he says, is everything okay? And Rabbi Shleim points across the street. There was a drugstore, and in the front window of the drugstore were magazines, and there was a few Yiddish boys that were looking at the front window. They were looking at the magazines. Rabbi Shleim was beside himself. Rabbi Hanani turns to him and says, Rebbe, like, what do you want to do? He says, I want you to walk into the store. I want you to find the owner, and I want you to ask him how much money he makes in the month of July and August off of magazine sales. What, Rebbe? That's, that's a little strange. Please, he says, Reb Hananya, please go in there. Hananya walks in there. He goes over to the proprietor. He says, I know this is strange. I know it's weird. My rabbi's in the car. He wants to know how much money you make. What are your profits in July and August off magazine sales? The guy says, what? He says, please, it's for my rabbi. He says, you know, okay. Makes a little cheshman. He says to him, $150. The story goes back 40, 50 years ago, maybe more. He goes back to the car. He says to him, Rebbe, he said $150. On the spot, Rabbi Freifeld takes out a checkbook and a pen, and he writes out a check for $150, which by today's standards is probably $1,000. He says, go to the proprietor and ask him if he would agree to remove those magazines from the front window of the store, and I will pay him this $150. He'll have nothing to be worried about. Again, Rabbi Hanani was a little bit taken aback, but the Rebbe says, you do. He walks into the store, he walks over to the proprietor, and he hands him the $150 check, and the fellow says, what's happening here? He says, my rabbi doesn't want the boys to look at these pictures. Would you agree to take them out of the store window? The fellow said, he's willing to pay $150? He says, yeah, it's important to him. Wow, he says, I respect that. Tell your rabbi he could keep the $150. Starting today, I'm gonna move the magazines to the back of the store. These boys should not have to see this. You know, it's absolutely amazing and remarkable. Sometimes when it comes to Shemir Sainayim, we're concerned if we don't look, if we walk with our eyes down, people are gonna look at us like we're strange, there's something wrong. It's not true. When a person does the right thing, particularly in the area of Shemir Sainayim, people just respect them. And most importantly, we gain respect in the eyes of the Rabbi Shalalim himself, and there's nothing more amazing than that.